Hi everyone, I've got an exciting update on this vertebra I found a few days ago. Oh, that's a beautiful one. It's so heavy, it's very well mineralized. Look at that. Concave on the one side and convex on the other. I wonder what age it is. I don't think it's from the Miocene sediment. It doesn't look like it. it might even be older. At the time I found it, it looked different to the bones that I normally find on that beach and it had a bit of a weird matrix on it. Not the usual saltstone or mudstone. It had more of a a glauconite look to it. You can see the little bits of green in there. And it had a very convex side and a very concave side, like a Mosasaurus. I didn't say that on the video, but I was thinking that, but it's way too young to be Mosasaurus on that, you know, in that part of the beach over there. But some sharp-eyed viewers recognize it for what it is. This is a Mosasaurus vertebra. <laughs> and my first one I've ever found. <laughs> Can't believe it. What is it doing on the beach over there? So Miocene um, in this area was about between four and six million years old and Mosasaurus went extinct around about 66 million years ago. So what happened that this bone came to be on that beach? The theory that kind of makes sense in my mind is that this was eroded from inland somewhere. Uh, there are some Cretaceous areas inland from that area, not close by, but you know, um, the rivers could transport something quite far uh, over a few million years so yeah that's how I think it got down to the beach there it, you know it just got tumbled down a river and washed up on the beach and I happened to find it <laughs> I've never heard of a Cretaceous fossil being found on that beach so this has kind of blown my mind <laughs> here's the crab I found on the day you can see there's a claw sticking out so um, rough estimate on this this is six million years or younger it's not awfully old. This is probably around 80 million years old, if it's from the formation I'm thinking it is. <laughs> that is crazy. And they were very close to each other. This was maybe like five meters um, from each other. So unexpected. There's that convex side. No, sorry. That's the concave side, and that's the convex side. I always get those mixed up. That's a beautiful vertebra. So we're just looking at the, the central part of the vertebra, the process over there and there, and at the top, and as well as the neural canal. There's a little bit of the neural canal. I think that's what it's called over there. What is it doing over there, and how did it get there? I'd love to be able to see the journey this fossil had. Thanks so much Carl and John for bringing this to my attention. Uh, if you hadn't pointed it out, this would have just been in my collection as a, you know, a random cetacean vertebra. But now it's something so much cooler. That's why I love the community around these videos. You know, this would have been, uh, you know, not very scientifically valuable, but now this is a Cretaceous fossil washed up on a Miocene beach. How cool is that? <laughs> Thanks so much Alexander and the rest of the people on the fossil forum. I really appreciate your input on it and the extra information you gave me. And please, if you recognize anything on my fossil videos, any of the fossils or something in the background, leave a comment because that's how we're going to find more cool things like this Mosasaurus vertebra. <laughs> Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.